Over the past decades, air traffic above Europe has experienced tremendous growth. In 2015 alone, 9.75 million aircraft movements were guided by air traffic controllers through European airspace, which is one of the most complex, busiest and fragmented airspaces in the world. The single European Sky ATM research project, CESAR, has been tasked with finding ways to optimize descent profiles. In 2014, the Optimized Descent Profiles, or ODP, project was founded under the leadership of DFS. The project team includes DSNA, Austrocontrol, Skyguide, the Eurocontrol Center in Maastricht, as well as the airlines Air France, Lufthansa and Swiss. The goal is to develop, test and implement optimized descent profiles on specific routes. Trials took place on arrival routes to Basel, Berlin-Tegel, Frankfurt, Geneva, Munich, Strasbourg, Stuttgart, Vienna and Zurich. 33 exercise approaches to 9 airports were conducted. 17 procedures are permanently implemented. For the airlines it is important that these routes can be planned ahead of time as the savings can only be achieved if the route can be taken into account in the fuel calculation part of flight planning. One reason why it is difficult to offer optimized and continuous descent profiles is the fact that flights have to pass over so many national borders and handover points in Europe. Another reason is the high traffic volume. This animation clearly shows the significant reduction in fuel consumption when an aircraft is descending. Every time the aircraft levels off, consumption increases again as can be seen here. When an Airbus A340, for example, is descending, it requires about 290 kg of fuel per hour per engine. If an aircraft has to discontinue its descent, fuel consumption increases to about 1500 kg per hour per engine. In addition to continuous descent operations, the use of the optimal top of descent also helps to save fuel. The approach of Swiss 1053, an Airbus A340 to Frankfurt Airport, using the standard arrival route MPAX Star, was re-enacted in the cockpit simulator of the airline Swiss and the air traffic control simulator at Rhein Radar. One of the big problems for us pilots are the numerous pre-descents in European airspace and one of the objectives of the ODP project is to avoid these pre-descents. As we can see here on the navigation display, thanks to the MPOX profile that we're expecting to get, we may stay at cruising altitude till intercepting our descent path. We are now coming over at the uh, Zurich airport. Normally Skyguide would pre-descend us here, but thanks to the ODP project we may stay at cruising altitude and descend with our calculated profile. To prepare for following the optimized descent profile, the pilot cross-checks the precise level windows at each waypoint in the aircraft's flight management system. MPAX between flight level 360 and flight level 290. Nelly between flight level 320 and flight level 260. Kovan between flight level 270 and flight level 220. These level windows are also displayed on the radar screen seen by the air traffic controller. Now the vertical flight path can be calculated, which means the controller can safely clear crossing traffic above or below this window because its upper and lower limits are guaranteed. Line hello, Swiss 1053, flight level 3, requesting uh, MPAX start. Swiss 1053, Rhein, guten Tag, identified. Expect MPAX 1 with gear arrival. Swiss 1053, descent via MPAX 1 whiskey, flight level 240. The green dot is showing the new optimum descent which is based on the optimized profile now inserted in the FMS. The FMS calculates a realistic profile which is indicated on the primary flight display and any deviation on the current profile can be managed with a speed variation. Swiss 1053, contact Lang and Radar. For 11,467 demonstration flights, a saving of 86 tons of fuel and a potential reduction of carbon dioxide emissions by 270 tons was achieved. On an annual basis there is potential to achieve saving of approximately 3,400 tons of fuel, 
10,000 tons of carbon dioxide and 59 tons of nitrogen oxides emissions. This project showed clearly that there is room for improvement in vertical flight efficiency, although we are already quite good today. We found out that also in mid to high density airspaces it is possible to improve arrival flows further. But it does not make sense to optimize one flow without considering the effects on other flows. Furthermore, we also have to keep the balance between safety, capacity and flight efficiency. In the end, every saving counts because it is better for our future and our environment.